good afternoon everyone and welcome back to Piccadilly. Now after all the fun and excitement of last week's adventures I can return now to getting back on with some scenics but obviously one of the first things I need to do is to disguise those uh, quite horrible looking point mergers I must say. Um, so the first part of that is this bit here. Now I must say this is the early steps of disguising this particular one. It's a rather strange looking bush. Um, so I thought the only way I could sensibly do it is to cover cover the point motor in this wadding type stuff. And then I'm going to flock it using neat PVA over the top of that. Now you might say to her, why don't I use the normal watered down glue mix? Well, the reason being is because there's a point motor there and this stuff is covering the point motor and at the moment it's switching very very nicely and the last thing i want to do is gum up the point motor inside there so i've got to be incredibly careful i'll probably put a bit of tape over this sec section here and then daub some neat pva over the top so it literally just catches the top surfaces and then sprinkle some flock over the top and vacuum it before I take before I um, lift the tape. Um, this one, as I said before, I'm probably going to experiment with one of Justin's kits. Um, I'll probably show you that when I come to do it. But right, well there it is. <laughs> um, like I said, it is a rather strange looking bush, and I'm quite pleased with the fact that it's come out like that, just to prove the points still work. So clearly no issues with the points. Right. My next job now is to um, start thinking about this one. Um, so I'm going to get a spare point motor and take you downstairs and start putting that kit together. Right, you join me at the workbench. Now this was the, I bought two of these, but this was the kit I bought from Justin at Worley Open Day. So it's obviously you can see there's three different sorts of platforms in there which you can then I presume have in any configuration you like because there's enough legs to do um, well four sets really um, although there's only three platforms I'm sure you can work out ways of doing each and there's obviously three sets of steps as well so all could be mounted up high or all could be ground level it's it's entirely up to you I think there's a lot of scope in there to do what you will now this is um, an old used point motor which has lost its green wire so I mean I will I will use this at some point it just needs the lid taking off and a new green wire soldering in which is an easy job but what I need to do first of all is to check the width of this in comparison to what this is and then take it from there so I'm going to open it up it's the first time I've uh, opened the packet so I'm just being very careful to what's inside because obviously this is card and uh, very delicate to that as well. Right, so with all of Justin's kits you get the set of instructions and by the looks of things it's very simple. You just have to fold the sides over and then by the looks of things glue the legs on as where you want them. Actually, I thought I'd show you this, to be honest with you, the cutting out process, because it is it is simple, but it's not as soon as it's straightforward as it first appears. So what I'm doing is I'm just pressing gently on the railings, and I, f I can feel there's a little nodey bit there, so I'm just going to trim through that with the scalpel. Oh, I haven't quite got it. So I'm literally just going to make sure I place the scalpel correctly. In there. Right, that's released. Okay. So you can see how incredibly fine this is. That, I mean, that is just unbelievable, really. So I think what I'm going to do is do that bit first. So I'm going to put the ruler 
on the top there like that and press ludicrously hard. In fact, I'm going to use the other ruler to help me to do this bending process. So gently put that underneath. I'm pressing like no tomorrow on the paler silver ruler. Just up like that. Okay, that's the first one. And I'm just going to take the scalpel with the blade pointing upwards. Just give that a bit of a helping hand. Right, now I've done three sides. Now I've got one more side to do. Now you'll see that I can't get the rulers in there. So what I've done is I've cut a piece of card and I'm literally just going to place that inside. There it is. Blimey, you can see how small that is, can't you? So anyway, I decided I'm gonna show you this because to be honest with you, um, it does need a little bit of, and I'm sure Justin's probably done a video anyway, but I thought I'd show you. Now I'm gonna use my trusted Cosmic Shimmer. He does recommend Rocket Car Glue, but this stuff's probably very similar. So I'm putting a little dollop on the side there. And I'm just going to put, I'm going to use the scalpel to put it on with. So the tiniest little bit going at the side there. Like that. And then just hold those two surfaces together. I hope, Justin, I'm doing you justice by doing this. <laughs> Once dry, turn the relay platform over and run a fine bead of glue all along the perforated folds um, to add some strength. So just run a little bead of glue along that edge. Yeah, I think that'll work. So next step it says, once fully dry, well, we've done that bit. Step four is for the steps now. So cutting out a set of the steps again. How tiny, tiny, tiny that is. That's one. Of right, I just remembered I've got these, which are automatic gripping type tweezers. So, trying to pick one of these up. So, I'm going to put it so that the risers are going away from the tweezer mark, or the tweezer bits, just like that. Hopefully you can make that out. And obviously one of the tricks is getting them parallel. I think what I'm gonna do is to put the other side on, but I've got it level that way. And that way, and if you noticed, the steps do look parallel now. Okay, now I think I'm gonna leave that there for a probably about 10 minutes to go off. Right, the steps are done. And I've done, obviously that platform's done. And I've also made another platform. Okay. It's time to make the um, stilts. And the recommendation is that you pop out eight of these little tiny little sections here and you glue two together. Right, so there's four uh, legs made there. Okay, so I'm gonna leave those for a few minutes to dry and then I will stick them to this platform. Is basically just put a blob of glue in the corner of each, um, each of the corners and put the legs in. So I'm going to do one at a time. I'm going to put a slightly larger blob of glue than I have done underneath. And take one leg at a time. And literally just place it in the corner. Just like that. Now making sure, of course, that that, and I'm not sure it will. No, I don't think it will. My point would have been if 
the point motor fitted over the top. But what I think I'm going to do is stick the front legs on and and then stick the uh, cradle, if you like, to the top of the point motor. And I think that will probably be absolutely fine. And then put a little bit of comp floatage around it and it'll probably hide it almost completely. Right, you draw me back at the layout. Now I've learnt a couple of bits about these things now. I would now strongly recommend you use super glue to put these together. If you use a PVA based glue, which is water based and it rejuvenates and then you go to paint the item with an acrylic paint which is water based it will rejuvenate the glue and therefore cause your model to fall apart as i um, discovered when i did the other one which i'll show you now. there now i did try and start to paint it but what i've decided to do i, I did sort of smother the joints with super glue and it's not turned out the best but I can hide some of those discrepancies with the actual relay boxes themselves. So on, it's not the end of the world and a suitably placed person as well will sort out any issues. But what you'll notice is between this one and the other one, I've now prepared it for an airbrush. OK, I'll just take you back through New Mill Station. Um, back to this one which, like I said, you will see is now all um, prepared up for using the airbrush. And I am going to use the acrylic spray, but I'm only going to give it the lightest of coats. So it should be pretty much dry as, it's, as it um, contacts the, the model. So I'll get that sprayed and I'll come back to you shortly when that's done. Right, so this is where we are about a couple of, hour, a couple of hours later. As you can see, the um, staging and some relay boxes have been fitted. Glue's not gone off yet. You might be able to see some white bits in that. But I've then gone ahead and covered the point motor. So I'm hoping it just needs a little bit more um, in certain places, but everything moves when I put when I stick things on. So I'm just going to let that dry, and then I'll put a little bit more on those little gaps you can see. But I hope you agree that is fairly well covered now. Now, the other thing I want to show, if I just back up a little bit, you might say, oh my Lord, there's been an earthquake. Well, you might remember when the scissor crossing was in, the trains would come across sort of this way. And obviously when you've got a curved section of track going into a straight platform, you have to modify the platform so it doesn't appear to, or the train doesn't bash the platform. But now, when I ran a train past it, there was a significant gap. Well, at least this much, which is about four mil. So if I just show you now, I've just put the HST up here because it's just the most convenient of trains. That's not a bad gap now. So what I'm going to do is fill this up, um, probably with a little bit of silicon at first, and then paint over the top, maybe with a little bit of filler as well. So if, it, if there's that clear fix is still good, I might use a little bit of that because it will dry quite quickly. All right, so you join me back. And you may now notice I've done a bit more. And the track all the way into the tunnel has now been ballasted. OK, and weathered. So I'll just take you around a bit further. So what have I done to that? Well, where the trains stop, there, both sides of the track, there is now oil staining. And it does sort of get a little bit less as it goes out. So you'll track round or pan round even. And I haven't done quite so much around here. Still got some of this awful chocolate brown, which is totally unrealistic. But there's the um, box that I was telling you about. I've not done anything since the last shot of that. So it still needs a little bit more covering up here. But that will get done. 
panning your background again. I mean, a lot of this you've already seen, but also now I think I'm quite pleased with the way that that uh, relay box has turned out. And if you can just about see in there, if I take you up a bit, there's a bit of a shadow right over the, the bit I want to show you. I'll remove the footbridge and hopefully you'll be able to see it, but there's a little bit of orange trunking there or cabling. Go into some trunking just there, which has been heavily weathered. And then over the other side of the bridge, it's all a bit dark. Over there, you can just about make out just there that it packs it pans across, and they couldn't be the network rail couldn't be bothered to put in a junction box at the end there, so they just poked the wire into the end of the trunking and then into the signal box. But the trunking carries on, it's in a bit of a broken state going up there over to that point and then on to the point just inside the tunnel. Okay, and as you like, I said it's all been ballasted. Now, looking at back at that, I haven't done a lot more to that um, point motor, but frankly, I'm quite pleased with the way that's turned out. And I don't think if you didn't know there was a point motor there, you probably wouldn't know if that makes any sense. I mean, I probably could put a little bit more. Um, uh, foliage across the top or across the bottom but I'm not sure I'm going to bother to be honest with you I think I'm quite happy with that scene as it is so I'll just pop the signal that footbridge back on just there I'm probably going to leave that loose for just a short time longer until I've got this um, these ramps in a little path that's next by the way and if I can get that in on this video I will but yeah, so that's where we are at the moment. I'm quite pleased with the scene. Now for a little bit of running, just resting the phone onto the edge of the platform. There is the 1411 to Manchester Piccadilly due into platform one. Here it comes. And as you can see, running over the points beautifully. Stopping just there. And I've also just shown you the points. Still working beautifully. And the other one in the tunnel, if you can make that out. Okay. And so for the final part of this video, I've managed to get some trees just behind the one end of platform two. Okay, and from the other end. So obviously the track, like I said before, has all been ballasted. There's one thing I do need to point out to you. And I'll move the footbridge so I can show you. If you remember, I created a slit in the platform there. Oh, please excuse the motorbike because the guy seems to think it's okay to sit there revving it. He's been doing it for over an hour. Um, anyway, moving on. Um, yeah, so all I did was I did use the clear fix and it took probably around about eight to ten hours overnight to set. And then I've just literally just painted over the top with some acrylics and just blended that back in. So putting that back on very gently because this is so fragile. I don't want to break that enough to make make another one but anyway um i've also done i've also done this area here now behind the signal box um getting ready for the path which is running down to the signal box and also this area here which will be ready for to receive some trees and all of that will be treed trees and foliage um if you remember i said i would do that um i know there's a bridge here but I physically haven't got the distance this way to do it. But anyway, that's um, quite a lot of work there for a, a Sunday or a weekend, you could say. So I'm going to leave this video there. I hope you've enjoyed it. And uh, I think we're starting to look a little bit more like the station is. 
and I'm certainly starting on the this tunnel of trees effect or corridor of trees whichever you want to call it really I'll call it a tunnel but you know what I mean don't you anyway I'll leave it there anyway take care have lots of fun this new week coming and I'll see you again soon on Piccadilly bye for now